The chairman of Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, Mr. James Kluche Aveji, says the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration must secure a property given to Ghana's mission in Islamabad, in Islamabad Pakistan. The said landed property was given to Ghana in 1973 and can be secured at 160,000 euros. The audit noted that the mission had an undeveloped plot of land at the diplomatic enclave in Islamabad. And I would assume that uh, Tehran covers Islamabad as well, which was, given to the, which was given by the Capital Development Authority of that city in perpetuity since 8th June 1973. Correspondence from the Honorary Consul in Islamabad indicated that at various times, the embassy in Malaysia had encroached on the land compelling the mission to report to the authorities to have the situation reversed. And again, if you look at paragraph 845, France and Canada have also attempted to encroach on the mission. Exactly what is happening and why has Ghana not taken steps since 1973? To secure land that was given to us in perpetuity. Unfortunately, because we have not made a decision to be resident in Islamabad, it has not been possible for us to build anything on that land. I do not foresee us um, being fiscally present. The Tehran in the foreseeable future will continue to have oversight, concurrent accreditation to our mission in Islamabad. What steps are being undertaken to ensure that the property is walled or on paper it is seen as property belonging to the people of Ghana? That would be the ideal thing, which is to wall it and secure the, 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 the piece of land. Unfortunately, it will cost us about 160,000 euro, which we do not have at the moment. So, are we that much poor that we cannot get 160,000 euro to secure the land, which is valued 40 million dollars? Honorable Chair, I will look for the money some way, somehow, to if it's 160,000 to wall a $40 million property, uh, land.